Welcome everybody to another edition of 5 Minute Adventures. Today we are in Seattle, Washington at the Woodland Park Zoo. It's a rainy March the 4th, 2023. We're going to go in, look at a bunch of animals, see what we can experience. Let's go. Enrichment item that is put in. The very first thing we're seeing here when we come in is the penguins. Otherwise there's going to be a problem. When we had wild lanterns, how many of you uh, went to, came to wild lanterns this last winter? Yeah? You know, the big ant that we had right here with the So here's the map of the zoo. There is, I believe I heard 95 acres in size. There's Aus the Australasia area, the Living Northwest Trail, the African Safari, the Tropical Rainforest, etc. We're going to see how much of that we can hit today. Uh, I don't know, but we're going to find out. So let's go see. So our first area that we're going to is going to be the Tropical Rainforest. Oh, very fluffy and soft. Just what you want to cuddle. Here we have just a few of the gorillas that they have in this enclosure. Huh, there's even baby gorillas. Here we have the black and white colobus monkey. I guess he is a little camera shy. This guy's staring me down. There. These are some very damp looking flamingos. The pool is empty at the moment. The zoo has their reasons for having the, the pool empty. Look at this. I don't know what the collective noun is for uh, flamingos. Lots of love of them. And when they're wet, they look kind of angry. It's kind of like a wet koala. If you ever Google a wet koala and see how angry it looks. Here we have a hooded crane and some barnacle geese. And then just your run to the middle duck. And then across the way we have the Demosil crane with the swan goose. These cranes are much larger. These are known as the white naped crane. Here we just have a variety of different kinds of birds in this enclosure. There's a net over top so that nothing flies out. And it was a, uh, a two-door system to get in here to make sure that nothing escapes. So now we're going to enter into the African savanna. This is the patas monkey, currently sitting under an, an overhang so he doesn't get wet. There are warthogs here that are taking shelter from the rain as well. Looking 
through the thick, dirty glass. We've got two female lions here. Just looking over their kingdom. Somebody left their Christmas tree in there. Here we have a warty pig. As he comes towards us. Kind of hard to see them, but there are two rhinos over there having a nap. Good thing to do on a rainy day. We're in one of the indoor habitats now. We have the Komodo dragon. Just resting by a rock. And this guy's just staring me down. Here we have some super rare Egyptian tortoises. This little guy walking around here would fit in the palm of my hand. They're so small. These are critically endangered. So we're happy that the zoo has a bunch here to keep them from going completely extinct. Here we have what appear to be elk. If you look back at some of our previous videos, you can see where we were feeding elk at the uh, game for the Olympic game farm, also here in Washington state. Here along the Northwest Trail. We've got some wolves. A couple wolves just sitting here. And I see some grizzlies off to our left. Here we have a snowy owl just sitting on the top of a log, staring off at the world. Hoping somebody's going to come and feed it a mouse soon. It's my mistake, it was not a grizzly, but it is a brown bear. There's two of them in there. There's three. There's three of them in there. Here we have a couple of billy goats sitting on the rocks overlooking the otters. Uh, fishing the bears actually do but these are in the bear habitat here we have a couple of stellar sea eagles we were just talking a minute ago let's see if they'll do it again Uh, it appears to be the newest exhibit, which is the Canadian Lakes. There's signs all over the zoo about it.
Now we're going into the section known as the Banyan Wilds. Let's go see what's in here. Here we have some sloth bears. A little camera shy. As soon as I pull out the camera, they go inside. So it's not the best angle, but here we have one of the orangutans in the indoor enclosure, eating some lettuce right now. Nobody out, none of them are outside, given the, the, the weather situation. But this one's just on its perch there, snacking on some lettuce. So we have two more here, one using a burlap, both of them using burlap sacks as uh, blankets. Oh. Now this next animal I'm going to show I know can be a little triggering for some people. So if you uh, are not a fan of snakes, then I recommend that you skip ahead for the next 15 seconds or so. So here we have a reticulating python. Largest snake in the world, longest snake in the world. They can grow to more than 30 feet in length. We find ourselves back here at the rhino enclosure. Now they're up and moving around. And here we have a taper. Taper is a lot larger than I thought it was going to be. I thought they were a little smaller. Hello. So as our day comes to an end here at the Woodland Park Zoo in Seattle, uh, it was a good day because there was very few uh, people here. They were kept away by the rain. Uh, but that also meant that there were a lot of animals that stayed inside. So we didn't get to see the red pandas, we didn't get to see the tigers, we didn't get to see the ring-tailed lemurs. Uh, we didn't even get to see the hippos because they just weren't out today. So that just means that we'll have to come back in the summer when it's a little busier, a little warmer. But thank you for joining me on this five-minute adventure and I will see you in the next one.